it's Monica, Story Lady from Take Off, the preschool learning outreach program of the Umatilla County Special Library District, with a bit of an on-the-go story, a little different. Instead of from the car, I am um, a quick stop in the office before I head back out the door. So I am on the go, but for a moment here, I've got a minute to share a story with you. This is called Also by E.B. Goodell. I just got this one from the Junior Library Guild. It says, this book is a moment, a moment shared by one family. They are all together now and later when they remember this special day. E.B. Goodell's gorgeous illustrations explore the power of memory and how it allows us to be in two places at once, here, and also there with those we love, always. Let's get started. Also, E.B. Goodale. Oh, this is beautiful. Today, I am at Grandma's house, high on a hill amongst the blueberry bushes. Look at these. I love picking blueberries at one of the, the spots that we have that you can go to pick at here. And, in our county. Let's see, amongst the blueberry bushes and also I am remembering camping with mama. Wandering away from our tent, all was quiet except for a rustling in the trees. Today, my grandma is at the kitchen sink watching me from the window and also Where is she? She is remembering being a little girl in her mother's garden, surprised by a bunny in a bush. She spent the rest of the afternoon in wet shoes. Oh, look at these. I think they called these saddle shoes. I remember my mother telling me about those. Today, my mama is walking down the hill, coming to find me and also Look, it looks like they're in those same blueberry bushes. And also, she is remembering sorting blueberries in the breakfast nook of her mama's kitchen. Her sister was making her giggle. Oh, look at that. Today, Grandma's cat nutmeg is next to me rolling in the grass. And also, she is remembering being tiny and hungry, worrying about her next meal until a hand reached down to rescue her. Now, many years have passed and I am sitting at my desk writing this book and also have you ever written a book i know several people who have i've started several i just haven't quite finished those up i recommend everybody take a minute write something down draw some illustrations make your own book tell us a story let's see let's start this page again get back on track now many years have passed and I am sitting at my desk writing this book. And also, I am remembering being a little girl at my grandma's house, high on the hill amongst the blueberry bushes. With grandma at the window, with mama coming to find me, with nutmeg by my side. We are all here and also there. Look at the time. Always. This book was dedicated for grandma and papa. Sounds like they were someone she made wonderful memories with. And there's a blueberry ink recipe. 
I have never made my own ink. Let's see what would we would need to do. With the help of an adult, thaw a half cup of wild frozen blueberries. Mash them gently through a strainer, collecting the juice in a jar. Add half teaspoon salt and half teaspoon vinegar and mix thoroughly. Paint away and watch how the color changes as it dries. So I recommend we all give that a try if we have the opportunity. We might not even have to use frozen ones if you go to one of our uh, local blueberry places. Sounds like a great way to spend the day. It says, E.B. Goodall grew up daydreaming amongst blueberries and fluffy cats in her grandparents' backyard. She has illustrated a handful of books for children, including Windows and Here and Now by Julia Dinos, The House of Grass and Sky by Mary Lynn Ray, and Under the Lilacs, which she both wrote and illustrated. There's some good suggestions to check into. She lives with her family in Massachusetts and also in the blueberry bushes of her mind. An ode to the memories we make and also those we make them with. I hope you have a great day, enjoy, and I will see you again soon.